uh, why I directed the police to arrest the director of Alpha Bookshop was because of the fraud which took place in Ikumi, where head teachers connived with the Alpha Bookshop to defraud the UPE funds. All head teachers who have candidate learners of PROE, who are we, who, those learners we are supposed to do mock this very month, charged 10,000 per child, which is exorbitant in the first place, and secondly, used fraud and wrong channels to collect that money. Alpha Bookshop acted as the cashier, the accountant of the district, the internal auditor of the district, the chief finance officer, the cow, and also the education officer by collecting money, which is not his responsibility. After collecting the money, he shared the part with the head teachers. So when we swung into action to investigate this, we discovered the, it was true, they had shared the money. At one point I called the director Alpha that I see you collected money and this guy is printing uh, mock exams. But how can you collect the total money including that for allowances, including that for marking, including that? Are you going to be the one doing all those things? You know, he said for me I'm going to, pr to, to print just. And I said what is your cost? At my cost is 12.5. Now, why did you collect 35 million? Ah, this one I collected and I handed it over to head teachers. But the fact was, when he collected the 10,000 10, per child of 3,500 candidates, 3,000 per child went to the pocket of the head teacher. And then for him, he removed 3,600 3, 3, per child, which he came to 12.5 uh, million shillings. That was his printing expenditure. The rest was given back to some of the association uh, uh, leaders of uh, head teachers association in Kumi and it was also shared among those ones. So it is the reason we followed it up. When I called him, why didn't you have a process done? He said, yeah, uh, I'm sorry, uh, but I didn't know that it will cause problems. I said, even the invoice you didn't write? He said, okay, let me write. But my, this, when he wrote an invoice, even when it was late for him to write an invoice, he even repackaged it. So which means it was an organized racket. So yesterday and this morning I learned that we talked to the head teachers and said, you refund the money. They agreed. Now why they did it because they have, they, have, they have misused the money already. They now went to Alpha Bookshop to sign an empty sheet that they have refunded the money, which was not correct. So basing on that, and the fact that he illegally collected government funds when it was not his responsibility, that's why I directed the police to arrest him. Even the head teacher who is leading the association was arrested and has already made a statement with the police, he's on police bond, but we are, police is carrying out these investigations until we tell these, take these people uh, to, 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 to court after uh, guidance from the PDPP. My warning to head teachers in Kumi, please, government under His Excellency General Yoel Kaguta Museveni, in the NRA Manifesto 2021 20, 2026, and also as government policy for long, is that government is giving free education. But you head teachers who are greedy with money, you have made it expensive. Every now and then you chase children from school, you go and harass parents to to sell what they have, like sheep, like goats, like land, to bring it to you when you are just sharing the money to fleece them. That's why I'm saying this is, should be the last fraud act for you. Stop it. Don't chase UPE children and use children from schools because you get your salary. Government constructs classrooms. Government gives capitation grant where you have to buy scholastic materials. There is no reason for you to chase children. Whoever will continue with that again, is will also fall suit.